Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we're diving into one of the A320's main flight control computers, the ELAX. The two elevator aileron computers, ELAX, serve as the primary flight control computers. The ELAX provide three main functions. One, flight control law processors. Two, control surface movements. Three, fault monitoring. The ELAX are responsible for the activation of the flight control laws on the Airbus A320, such as normal law. The computers process these laws and ensure that the aircraft's response is within safe and stable limits. The ELAX are also responsible for sending precise signals to the hydraulic actuators on the flight control surfaces. These signals determine the position and movement of the control surfaces based on the pilot's inputs and the aircraft's current flight conditions. Normally, ELAC-1 controls the ailerons and ELAC-2 controls the elevators and trimmable horizontal stabilizer. The ELACs play a crucial role in monitoring the flight control system for any faults or abnormal conditions. They continuously check the system's sensors, actuators, and other components for proper functioning and alert the pilots in case of any failures. In a DC bus 2 fault, ELAC 2 is lost after 30 seconds, leading to a large loss of redundancy. However, this will be recovered at landing gear extension. If one ELAC fails, the other takes over to maintain full control of the elevators, ailerons, and THS. If the fault light doesn't appear on the overhead panel push button, it could be a sign of a faulty side stick transducer. The faulty side stick can be locked out by holding the opposite side stick takeover push button for 40 seconds. The pitch trim resets to zero degrees if ELAC 1 is reset on the ground. Do not reset any ELAX in flight if any uncommanded movements are observed. If both ELAX fail, the aircraft transfers from normal law to alternate law. Once the landing gear is extended, this transfers down to direct law. Control of the THS and elevators shifts to either SEC 1 or 2, depending on the nature of the failure. The hydraulic actuators connected to the aileron switch to a damping mode, where they no longer actively move the surfaces based on pilot input, but rather act as passive dampers, minimizing unwanted movements. Roll is now achieved through spoiler deflection. Thanks for watching this bite-sized tutorial on ELAX.